welcome back to another episode of Last Night on Survival Today for Return. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully y'all are all having an absolutely fan freaking fantastic day of the most amazing Friday that only keeps on getting better from here on out. Yay! I'm bringing out the Guan Dao a little bit. I don't know, wanted to bring it out, haven't used it in a while, but hopefully you guys are all having an amazing day that only keeps on getting better from here on out, whether that be from the video, bringing you a giggle, bringing you a smile, or anything else going on in the wonderful lives of yours. I got a big smile on my face, because today, woo, there is a lot of good stuff going on today. We have, if you guys recall, in the last episode, we had a huge raid that we got ourselves into. Um, Guess what? There is another awesome raid. Woo! Let's get away from there. There appears to be zombies attacking. We got another incredible raid in store for today that is just like, oh my god. Back-to-back -back raids like this have not happened in a long, long time. So I am so excited to get to raiding. But first, the season is going to be ending in T-minus pretty much 20 minutes. We're over here trying to knock out as many tasks as we can. And quite a few of them have to do with basements. So that is why we have found a basement and we are going to try and kill things. We also got to try and attack some floater bloaters or something like that. So uh, we are going to be uh, getting to it. We also got to go and actually visit, I believe it is, oof, one of our fire arms broke that's okay though we got to continue using these firearms but uh what you recall then we are going to head over to that raid like i was talking about i think killing the witch is actually another thing that we can do so we got our work cut out for us because i want to max out the battle pass not just i want to we are going to max out the battle pass and the incredible reward that awaits us at the end the cbrn combat helmet which i am so excited to start rocking dude but for now, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey, fast rotters. It's your time to die. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe we might be one away from a victory screech. Oh, why didn't you wake up? Hello? Wakey, wakey, my dude. Okay, I'm a little bit spooked by why he's not waking up. We did have a floater bloater over there, which is a great sign because, woo, task complete. And we actually got ourselves another level. Come on. I don't know why that guy isn't waking up. I'm a little bit spooked by it. Ooh, what up, fast riders? Oh, Savage Giant. Gotta be a little bit careful with that dude. He is gonna be a heavy hitter compared to, uh, well, pretty much the rest of the enemies that we gotta worry about. But that's okay. We'll put a bullet to his brain. And he won't know what to do from there. So after we clear out this basement, we'll be making our way over to doing as many other tasks as we can. Oh, mama, I should probably equip a pistol over here because there's going to be a lot of crawlers swarming us. But that ain't going to stop us. It's actually exactly what we want. Yet another task is completed. And guess what? That's two more levels up to level 28. We go. We're making awesome progress over here. We just got to kill the witch still. Uh, we actually got to visit a watchtower. That should be pretty easy. And killing some wolves in a forest location. So definitely some pretty easy tasks. And I'm pretty confident that we should be able to pretty much finish this thing up time is ticking However, so since we are done with what we had to get done in the basement. I'm sorry basement. I love visiting you You know, I wish my own house had a basement actually both IRL and actually in the game I don't have a basement IRL just a I mean technically there's a basement down there, but it's not really livable It is just uh, well, how does one say a whole ton of pipes? Ooh, and unfortunately killing those wolves is not going to help our cause because this is not a forest location that we're in and hunting down 10 floater bloaters in stone locations might be a bit of a nuisance so for now we'll make our way away from there but we should still be good to go because over here we do have a watchtower we can visit on the lickety split let's go and do that but man things are coming up millhouse and the awesome thing is that when this season ends that means we're one step closer to season five so far with the seasons there's been about one to two maybe three week breaks in between seasons so pretty much in a couple of weeks man we can expect season five to begin and from some of the teasers that we have been seeing thus far season five is gonna be a keeper with a brand new abandoned mine location of some sort zombie bears and the most magnificent of them all underwear yeah there's gonna be custom underwear 10 out of 10 would get again 100% yes give me the underwear baby but uh, what you gonna call out of some of the other tasks that we got left over I like doing the premium ones because well we do have the premium pass so I want to capitalize on it and well they do give a lot of points for usually some relatively basic stuff over here we just got a lot of like honestly I can try and kill some turkeys that's only five points though it's not a huge deal uh what is we'll continue making our merry way over to some four zones though we'll go and knock those out on the lickety split and then uh, today lads and lassies we are gonna be rocking the CBRN armor like it, it's happening I am not going to rest without CBRN armor on myself today and unfortunately our rankings it looks like we're just gonna end up in the top 75% I if you guys watched the last video not only was there an awesome raid but there was quite uh, something 
other good stuff going on there. Kill 15 dumb zombies. Maybe we'll go to the frozen wood event and actually try to knock that out as well. We'll see how the times unfold and stuff like that because we still have about 15 minutes or so. And at the very least, I want to make my way up to level 30 on this battle pass. It'll be a nice even kind of area to be ending off on, so I'd be pretty confident with that. Hopefully we find some floater bloaters around these parts. Maybe a couple of wolves. Not you, Toxic Spitter. Okay, just send another Toxic Spitter my way. Not you, Toxic Abomination. I want floater bloaters and I want wolves. You are neither. Okay, okay. Well, unfortunately, they don't appear to know what's going on and that's okay that's okay i completely understand it's very oh my god another one hey caramba broski are you another there we go we got a floater bloater over here marvelous definitely just want to continue finding i think one or two more of those and we should be able to knock out this one task that we have to do like x amount of damage right like yeah uh floater bloater three thousand damage with firearms we gotta continue climbing up to say the least oh another basement good thing that i don't care give me the wolves where the wolves at? What's a fast biter? Oh, it's a holly jolly one. Woo! -hoo. Love to see it. Yeah, though, I was not anticipating. Oh, mama, let's not let that happen over there. Shotgun rain! Hey! You love to see it. Uh, we might need to stop by and grab a couple of extra weapons as well for when we go to take down the witch. Okay, seriously. Is there, like, not a... Does that count as a wolf? Or does it have to be, like, a normal wolf? Hold on. Let's see really quickly. Do rabid wolves count towards the wolves? Yeah, yeah, there we go. You love this here, yeah. Okie dokie. Well, let's continue going on this wolf hunt of ours. Oh, there we go. We got wolf number one. And where is there? That's a zombie over there. That's a zombie over there. Come on, I just need one more wolf. And there we have it. The task is complete. And yet another level is ours. And with that level 30, which is actually huge because then even worst case scenario, if we cannot continue advancing up at a steady pace, we should be able to get plus five levels twice. And as much as that sucks, at least we'll be able to get it here and get the grand prize at the end. I know, I know. I hate doing that to my wallet. Trust me, you don't got to tell me twice. But hold on, didn't I have to kill turkeys? I heard turkeys gobble gobbling. Hey, turkeys. Turkey, turkey, turkey. Where are you at, turkey, turkey? There you go. Boop. Let's go and take you down. There's got to be another turkey around these parts, right? I refuse, I repeat, refuse to believe that there is not another turkey goblin about. Oh, did I, did I have to kill three of them? I thought I had to kill two. Was it like an unmodified block I got to use? Hold up. What's the specifications of this task over here? I just know that there was turkeys uh, with a Glock. Okay, I actually had to kill a third one. Never mind. Miscalculation. Uh, I guess I'll continue looking around and see if there's any sort of turkey, but... I mean, two turkeys per zone is usually a pretty steady one. Maybe we'll head over to the yellow zone, try to find a turkey over there. So we've killed most of the enemies around these parts, and yeah, just looking like we got deer. So we'll make our way over to the yellow forest zone, and then we make our way into the witch, and we try to take down the witch. We got the weaponry to do it, by the way. We should be able, more than capable, of getting her done. So let's go over to the yellow forest. It's kind of on the way. To the witch's zone, then we'll head to the witch's zone, and then uh, T minus 10 minutes. The clock is ticking, and Goodman One is taunting us with this beautiful base that I want to break into. But with the conclusion of this season coming upon us, now is the time to reflect on this season. And I'm not gonna lie, eh, I don't know. I feel like I think we could all agree it definitely could have been a bit of a better season. Like, don't get me wrong, there's definitely some cool stuff going on. I like the events and all that, but. Out of all the seasons and all the stuff we've seen thus far... Oh, woo! Turkey down! Out of all the stuff that we've seen thus far, it just genuinely feels like one of, if not, the weakest seasons we've had so far. I don't know, man. I definitely feel like there's been better... Oh, marvelous, the flota blota. Exactly what I had to do. Only got to find a couple of more of you. Maybe there's... Uh, is there any more of you lying around? I think on the map, they appear as, like, bigger circles. So, no, I'm not seeing any at the moment. Please leave a message after the beep. And all right. Yeah, in that case, then we'll skedaddle out of here. I don't think there's anything else really awaiting us in this zone. So, uh, yeah, let's just boop and scoot our way out of here. I guess I'll, I'll, I'll continue patrolling a little bit. I definitely don't want to miss out on potentially a floater bloater. Because I literally got to kill, like, I think two more of them or something. And we'll be bada boom, bada bing. Good to go. But all right. Let's boop out of there. And the witch does await. And there might be floater bloaters at the witch's house. I'm not going to lie. And that really, I don't think the witch actually really has a house. It's more of a, uh, 
hut. More of a stump, actually. It's literally a fallen tree stump, you know, if I'm not gonna lie. Uh, let's go with um, num, 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 a little bit of food. Let's definitely bring out some shotgun rain. That's gonna be huge in what we're gonna be doing here against the witch and definitely want the Glock ready to go as well. And without further ado, uh, maybe I gotta kill the witch, by the way, with a melee weapon at the end of it all. Cannot forget that. That's why we got the Guandao. So we're ready to go. Guandao is such a fun word and it's such a fun weapon, dude. It's literally like a giant spear slash sword on the end of a long stick. I don't know the best way of describing it, but long story short, it's dope. So are these, yes, flota blotas, marvelous. I probably should not be using my pistol. I gotta save that for the actual battle because the pistol will let us actually hit the witch with slow-mo. So why don't we try and take down some of the enemies over here? We'll use a little bit of that flare gun action. Let them burn, baby, burn, burn, baby, burn. Flare guns, once you do tally it all up, end up doing about, uh, let's go and hit you there one more time. Flare guns end up doing on the dot 100 damage per shot. So for the enemies with less than 100 health, we hit them once. Bada boom, bada bang. See you later, alligator. And then the float of bloat over here. We just got to hit one more time after this. And sayonara. I was like getting rid of these guys before we begin the battle, just so we don't have to worry about potentially encountering them in the middle of the battle. Because, uh, well, I'm going to be focusing on trying to kill a little lady known as the witch. So I don't want to focus on these zombies over here. But yeah, let me know what you boys and girls have thought of this season. And with this kind of being the conclusion of the season type episode, how far did you boys and girls get in the ranking? Are you happy with the rewards that you got for your struggle? How far along in the battle pass did you get? What did you guys and girls think of the battle pass? Some of the rewards? What did you guys think of the events going on? Those frozen events that we could go to? Because personally, the reindeer one with freaking Spotify CEO reindeer himself, I despise that one with a passion. That is just such a hard boss battle the frozen woods are kind of cool a little obnoxious but definitely not as hard as the freaking deer man that deer is just a pain in my butt and the first location actually that popped up on week one already that one i like the most i think because well i don't know we encounter a bear there if we're lucky and uh well there's usually nothing super deadly except for that frozen giant we got to deal with at times but probably my favorite part of the season is without a doubt the cbr and armor that we can get our hands on and that's kind of the big topic of today obviously we're maxing out our season pass and we are getting that puppy so i'm very excited for it and hopefully you boys and girls are as well but let me know what your favorite part is what you most enjoyed about the season what you most disliked about the season <coughs> the ranking system for me but uh, yeah make sure to let me know in that comment section down below and reminder that that comment is going to put you one third of the way into the weekly $25 and to touch place to a gift card giveaway. All you got to do as well is make sure the like button, make sure to subscribe, that'll let you win on today's video. Y'all can go ahead and enter it on every single last day on our video when Saturday rolls around. We'll pick a random video for the past week, pick a random comment from that random video, and that will be the winner for the week. It will kick off the weekly giveaway that exact same Saturday as well. So make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with every single video. Y'all can enter it on for that weekly giveaway, not to mention all the other dope survival games and especially more. The last day on our shenanigans coming to a a Star Snipe Daily Videos channel near you. And hello, witch, please continue eating. Yes, eat the shotgun rain, baby. Now, I do love just kind of circling the witch around here. Makes it for a nice and easy way of just boop, doing a ton of damage to her. And now we got to watch out because things are going to be getting extra fugly. Let's hit the shot with the wolf over there. Get a little damage done with him because now is when the massive horde of zombies descends upon us. Ah! So we definitely want to make sure to get these guys in one big old uh, selfie over here. And we want to hit them with a big old blast. I want to just line up the perfect shot over here, right? Come on, baby. Come on. There we go. This might be it. Let's hit him with a little bit of that shotgun rain. Woo! And with that, almost all of them have perished. And now it's the time to continue dealing with the witch. Witchy poo, come over here. She unfortunately is all the way back up to full health, which is definitely kind of poopy, but we are more than prepared for this monumentous task at hand. We just want to continue running away from her a little bit and avoiding all the damage that we can. Ideally, ow, having her hit some of those tree stumps along the way does actually kind of slow her in her chase of us. Okay, let's continue running away a little bit. We want to make sure to keep some durability here on our shotgun. And we do not want to take too long with having to deal with this witch because then, well, I we still got to we, we gotta get the freaking CBR and armor at the end of this all, right? So, like, time is definitely a little bit of the essence. Nice. And like I'm saying, whenever you are battling the witch, if you're trying to run away and stuff like that, use the trees to your advantage to kind of slow down the witch a little bit as, well, she tries and tries to hunt you down. Unfortunately, she is the prey today. We are the hunters, baby. Woo! And with that, another fell swoop of enemies will begin to descend upon us. Hello, diseased wolf. Woo! Big hit, baby. We got a critical on him. He was 
Gonzo since the beginning. And all right, now we want to get everyone nice and together. Gather around, children. Gather around. Before we got a big old blast of shotgun rain we got to hit you with. Let's just really get everyone all nice and together. And shotgun rain. Marvelous. That dealt with almost all of them. And the faster that we deal with these crawlers, the faster that the witch comes back to face us, which means the less time that she has to heal. And that's going to be ideal because we do not want the witch to heal. Also, if we're lucky, we can literally shotgun blast her freaking arms off. And that'd be really good because then she can't do her super attack. And her super attack is terrifying. It does a lot of damage. But luckily, there's no more healing in the witch's future. We just got to go and get a little bit of... Uh... See, I don't know if we can use the shotgun, for example, as like a close range weapon. Woo! Big hit, big hit, big hit. I don't know if we can use like the shotgun as a close, close range weapon, right? So I'm going to hit you right there with the slow-mo witchy poo. And then it's going to be time to take it down with the guandao. Watch out! Oh, this does not do as much damage as I thought. That is unfortunate. Yay! Goodbye to your limbs, witch! Whoa! And give me that level of 31. You love to see it. And with that, I have conquered and I'm getting out of here. Because there's some angry zombies whose master I kind of uh, decapitated and delegitated and dearmitated. I de everything itated that witch. So we are done dealing with her. You love to see it. And with that, we do still have a little bit of time to spare here. And with that, we do not have a lot of time to climb these ranks doing tasks. But... I want that CBR on armor, and even if I gotta sacrifice a little bit of dollar reduced to make it happen, it's gonna happen, baby. And then we have the first five levels, which bring us all the way up to level 36. And we need- Oh, we gotta buy these one by one? Bruh! Alright, there we go. We're up to 37, dude. That's whack. And with the final level that we had to buy one by one, we're up to level 40. Dude, that's so whack. You wanna know why? To buy one level, it's two dollars, right? But you can get five levels for six dollars. But you can only get five levels if there's at least five levels left. So because of the fact that we were four levels away, we had to buy those levels one by one. So we spent eight dollars for four levels instead of six dollars for five levels. Even though we would have only gotten four. So wow, we just got played a little bit. That that kind of sucks. <laughs> like, what, dude? What? I, okay, that's swag. But listen, at the end of the day, I'm always more than willing to make some sacrifices, especially if it means that we can show stuff off for you lads and lassies. We made tons of sacrifices, especially those within our own bank account, to get our ATV built to show off that and the swamps and all that for you lads and lassies. And, well, sacrifices are always something I'm willing to do. And uh, today is no different. Let's go and let's collect some of the loot awaiting us because i mean there's some decent stuff along the way the atv transmission i mean that's nice i don't really need an atv transmission though i like the gas cylinder never wanted to complain about that and finally the cbr and armor itself oh mama dude oh my god that's even a gas mask on top of it dude this is going to be insane and you boys and girls can see the timer ticking down tick tock tick Duck in 30 seconds, that thing disappears. And after having grabbed our armor, let's don it for the very first time. Oh, baby. Now that looks good. We even got, oh man, with the minigun on top of it too. Ooh, that is looking fuego, my friend. And dude, look at that. On top of it, we get 16 levels of radiation protection. We're definitely gonna have to go and put this to the test in Bunker Bravo a little bit. I don't want to use all of it though, because it's literally the only set in existence. This is the only way to get the CBR and armor thus far. So I don't want to blow through all of it yet, unfortunately, but I do want to use it a little bit. If I use a little bit of durability, so be it. So I definitely want to use it a little bit. And, dude, like, the 44 movement speed on the boots, too. That's up to par with Kevlar. This is, I think, like, one level below Kevlar in terms of its protection. It is just, like, all around, dude. This is some dope armor, man. And, like, I, I am excited, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Wait! Me likey what me see ye. Honestly, why don't we go and use this armor during uh, today's raid? I, I think that that'd be fitting, man. The perfect way. We got a huge raid that we got to go and get our way into. And I don't mind having a little bit of fun to have it. Oh, yeah. And of course, let's make sure that we claim our rewards for this season as well. Wow. All 10 steel plates, 10 cogs, and 15 rubber. You love to see it. So why don't we go? Let's enter in the zone. Let's enter the location. And let's see what this armor looks like in person Ooh, 
That's what I like to see, baby. Oh, man. That is looking fuego already, dude. Way better than the hazmat armor. I gotta say on top of that, like, oh, my goodness gracious. Just look at it. Look at it. Oh, man. I just feel like a boss with this thing on, man. What, what happens if we start, like, turning the minigun? How does it look when we got it activated? Dude, I'm not gonna lie. That's looking pretty fire. Yeah, dude. I I wish we had more sets of this armor, man. Especially for Bunker Bravo. This is like the best armor really imaginable. So we're going to put it to the test today. We're going to rock it for the raid. And uh, let me just really quickly. I got to put some of our loot away first. And then it's raiding time, ladies and gentlemen. And alrighty, as beautiful as this armor looks, which spoiler alert, the answer is a lot, man. Oh my God. Dude, I, we, I, I need more ways of getting this armor. I need more of this armor, man. It's just, it's so beautiful radiation protection and gas protection with the mask like it's got it all man and especially how fast we move at full speed with 44 dude imagine if we ate the fish too that made us a little bit faster on top of it or like the stew that we could cook up do we be able to cook up something gnarly but all right i do believe that we got everything we need over here actually i do believe we gotta go ahead and grab ourselves one more high explosive which i did no need to worry boys and girls because this raid that we're going on is going to be a big boy this is going to be a gnarly raid there's a lot at stake and if if we if we play our cards right man after doing a little bit of scouting into this raid we are gonna come out very handsomely rewarded star how in tarnation do you scout raids well it's something that i definitely recommend you guys and gals do on every raid that you go on because going in totally blind into a raid is usually you just don't want to risk breaking into the wrong wall and stuff like that <coughs> and uh well the best way of kind of figuring out you know which walls might be duds and stuff like that is actually searching up the name of the base so for example i'm raiding goodman one over here you want to look up the name good hold on just making sure we got everything in our inventory we're good to go okay just want to make sure we got absolutely everything we got a motorcycle yeah so you look up like ldoe or last day on earth goodman one in the youtube search bar and uh well you can actually see what his base looks like a little bit ahead of time know how much high explosives and hatchets to bring and that type of stuff and especially if it's going to be a huge raid you really want to be able to focus your efforts in the right area so highly recommend it but i didn't totally research i don't know where the best of the best stuff is i just know the best walls to break into so we'll see how everything goes but the walls are very very promising so without further ado let's get to raid let's hop into the man who is good number one's base and dudes let's freaking go i am so oh and he's got the little chopper here too well 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 already a hopefully marvelous start to a marvelous raid eh don't really care about that too much anything over here oh not gonna lie full set of armor right off the bat pretty good but i think the going's gonna get even better than that so uh don't even mind that now where i believe we got to break into is going to be this doorway right over here so ahem, my good sir as a wise man once said knock knock baby and they might be like, Star, why are you running away? Because I'm a little bit concerned. There's a noise trap over there. I do not want any zombies at all to ever trigger that noise trap. And here's where we got to break into next. We actually need another high explosive to make this happen. But there's another layer of wall that we got to go to. There's actually going to be two more layers. This is a triple C4 raid that we are on. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. And uh, ho, ho, ho. it's going to be a doozy. I just can't wait to freaking sink my teeth into some of the loot. That's awaiting us. Mr tree are you as excited as me are you excited that is the most excited tree i've ever seen also the most suspicious tree i don't know why there's just one tree chilling over there now what i'm gonna do is go ahead and uh toss this thing down here and then we gotta go gotta go gotta go 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 gotta go gotta go gotta go 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 gotta go gotta go 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 i just gotta make sure that that noise trap does not get triggered by any enemy whatsoever and i also want to make sure to hopefully avoid getting hit absolutely as much as possible inside of this armor because well this is kind of our god armor that uh you know i wanted to show it off a little bit but at the same time i don't want it to break so we are at odds. I might actually go ahead and uh, swap into that other armor that we did have. I think this one has taken uh, more than enough damage at this point. And as much as... Oh, that was a little bit close there. Yeah, alrighty, that's more than enough damage. We got to see it a little bit in action. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go over to some normal armor. And uh, we're putting this thing away into our chopper. Because remember, from a raid, loot that is put into a chopper is safe. Even, like, even if we die in a disastrous train wreck. There's not even trains in the last day on Earth. But let's say a train appears. And kills us well guess what whatever's in our chopper gets teleported back home so it will be safe and that's what i love to hear 
Now from here, from here, from here. Uh, did I grab that other explosive that we needed? Marvelous! I did. And we are gonna need to still do some tangs with this explosive. But for now, we got a box we broke into over here and one flare gun awaiting us. Now here is where it gets even better, boys and girls. And I kind of want to wait for my uh, bear roll ability there to regenerate because we're probably going to summon the wrath of another wave as soon as this happens. And like I'm saying, I do not want that noise to be created. But from there, there are some decent chests we could break into on the little outskirts. But the best stuff is going to be within here. And that is where we are going to be trying to get into. So with our bear roll ability about to be regenerated... Oh, mama. The next stressful step that we gotta worry about. Let's make sure that we are as south as possible. Let's toss this thing down and let's skiddy boop pop that on out of there. We just do not want anything at all triggering that noise trap and marvelous. Okay. We are out of the danger zone where any zombie would have any reason to run into there. Like, I literally don't care if I gotta take a little bit extra damage. At this point, noise. As weird as this sounds, noise is the most valuable resource that we have access to. Or sh maybe I should say silence. Silence, and that's a resource that we want to preserve and we're doing a good job because that thing over there scares the poop out of me dude do not want to deal with that no sir e but you can see that we broke through two chests we broke into this one let's go we got a ton of SWAT armor coming our way because of it four full sets should we choose but it gets even better because inside of this vault we got a minigun along with some other good stuff. Now, we will be grabbing some of the other stuff, no need to worry, but we do still have a little bit of noise to play with, and I fully intend on playing with that more... Uh, English is extremely hard. Uh, playing with that noise as much as possible. So, I'm gonna go ahead and break that, and then we gotta go, 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 gotta keep an eye on that noise and just make sure that no zombies are potentially triggering it. And nice, we are away from the danger zone where any zombie would have any reason whatsoever to trigger that dang thing. Now, let's get rid of the rest of the laggies, chill and over here the rest of these toxic abominations one by one with the rest of the pistol that we have access to and bada boom bada bing things are looking good over there as well now it's time for us to sink our teeth into some of the loot awaiting us within the second chest that we broke into and let's freaking go one vss one shotgun rain amongst some other marvelous things let's go ahead and put away all of our level one hatchets we don't need those honestly we probably came a little bit over prepared in terms of those we got plenty to go now there are still gonna be some weapons scattered throughout a couple of these other chests i believe this chest over here should actually have some weapons for us to take home but we should be able to break into like one maybe two more chests here relatively worry free there we got a couple more guns we're gonna be bringing on home with us also why don't we go and swap into a uh, fresh set of swat over here might as well before the going gets a little too rough i believe this over here should also have some decent stuff and then we might be able to break into one oh more chest after this before the panic sets in and uh, the big one decides to appear so all right i'm just trying to play my cards right over here because i believe the next i think this chest over here should also have some decent stuff in store for us i i don't think that they should summon the big one but at the same time just in case that is the straw that breaks the camel's back and summons the wrath of the big one we got to make sure to put some valuable stuff away into our chopper so we have as much inventory room as possible to fill up with some other stuff but you boys and girls are already seen what i was talking about like there is a lot of good stuff to go around and billy Mays here but wait there's more so for now we'll put uh honestly we'll put away all that stuff all the non-pistol type stuff away for the time being i think that will be a decent call we'll put those hatchets over there into the bottom i'll probably end up eating the rest of my food and for the time being, sorry about the burp there, I will end up, uh, I think I'll fill up my inventory with SWAT armor. And then if we come across any more guns, uh, we'll swap that out as necessary. But for now, we do have quite a lot of SWAT armor to play with. So let's get to playing, baby. Uh, we'll go ahead and honestly, I'll put the pistols away, just like that, just like that. Okay, marvelous. Honestly, I'll put that one away over there too. And we'll, I'm just trying to, I don't know, I'm trying to keep things organized so I'll kind of easily be able to recognize where and when I should put stuff. Let's drink some water. Let's eat some food. Let's put all that jazz away. And okie dokie. We've organized those things a little bit. Honestly, we can probably get rid of some more hatchets too because like we do have our hands on too many. I, I think that's good. We have all the sets of SWAT armor from this chest. Four full sets of full durability SWAT armor. That's going to be a pretty good haul if you ask me. And hopefully this over here doesn't break the straw on the camel's back. Woo! 99 noise. I can breathe again. 
Whew, feels good. Uh, now, in terms of some of the stuff that we can get rid of and maybe can keep, maybe we get rid of this pistol here. It is about to break. Uh, I could grab the stack of medical supplies, I'm not gonna lie, but I don't think that I am. Kind of what I want to do here is, uh, like, I'm not gonna lie, boys and girls, I just want to take home as many guns as possible, and I think one of the safest ways of doing that might be just going home with an inventory like this. Uh, yeah, boys and girls, I mean, I don't think that this base really has better loot versus kind of what we already have in our inventory. I, If I'm not mistaken, I think that we can actually break like this chest over here for like a single steel and a single steel plate. But at this point in time, especially with all of the bunker Bravo clearing that we've done, our weapons supply is low, our armor supply is low. So I'm honestly pretty happy to take home four full sets of SWAT armor and a ton of weapons to go alongside with it. I mean, actually five full sets counting the one that we're wearing right now so dude this has been a glorious raid and i'm really happy that we've been stockpiling c4 man because like a triple c4 raid like this we still have a lot of c4 to go and uh, dude the c4 stockpile is going to be treating us well because whenever we come across a base like this we're going to be ready to take it down but with that said and with that done that is going to go ahead and start wrapping it up for me for now thank you guys a whole ton for watching hi this was an awesome one and i'll talk to you in the next one see you